Let's take a look at question number 36 on the DS section of the official guide for 2015 GMAT. Here, let's look at the original condition first. It says that x minus 4 is equal to z, y minus x is equal to 8, 8 minus z is equal to t. So how many variables do we have? We have 4, because there's x, y, z, and t. We're already given three equations. One here, one here, and one here. To solve for four variables, we need four equations, so we just need one more equation. And condition one gives us one equation. Condition two gives us another equation. This makes it very likely that our answer is going to be D. Is is D, and let's see why it is. Condition one says that X is equal to seven. Okay, then using the first equation, seven minus four is Z, and Z is three. That's the question, we need to know the Z. So we can solve for that using one. What about question number two? T is equal to five. And 8 minus z is then 5, so z, again, is 3. And condition 2 is also sufficient, and d is our answer. This approach of solving a problem is called the variable approach method, and nowadays it's the most proven and effective way of getting a correct answer on the DS section of GMAT Math.